Hi there, this is Ed Herzog, and in today's video, what I want to do is I want to show you Jet Pop-Up by Crocoblock. Jet Pop-Up is a pop-up plugin that you can use in conjunction with Elementor to create a variety of different pop-ups on your website. Now, I have personally used Jet Pop-Up on my website, so I know that it works well. At the same time, it does come with one major limitation, which I'm going to talk about in this video. But for now, I'm going to switch over to my desktop and take you through a demo and a review of Jet Pop-Up. So I want to start by giving you a general overview of Jet Pop-Up and what Jet Pop-Up can do. So here I am on the Crocoblock website and I'm going to scroll down. You'll see first of all it says everything is drag and drop so it's just like anything else you would do within Elementor. So you've got a variety of different pop-up triggers. You can animate your pop-ups and you don't have to build things from scratch. They do have templates you can use if you want to start with a template. Of course if you do prefer to build things from scratch you do also have that option. Here it says you decide what your pop-ups will communicate. So you've got subscribe, discount, yes and no, countdown, contact us, info card, GDPR, and a cookie policy. Here it says decide when your pop-ups will appear, appear on a page. So you can do on opening, an exit, scrolling, attached to a widget, inactive time, or on a set date. Then you have include and exclude conditions for where your, where your pop-ups will appear. So you can include pages and page templates, exclude pages or post types, mix and match conditions. So again, that allows you to display your pop-ups, you know, again, where you want them to display, whatever pages or posts you want them to display on, you can set up those conditions. Here it says decide how your pop-ups will appear on a page. So you've got the, sorry, the classic, where it comes in the middle of the screen. You've got a slide in which is a bar on the side. You've got the top or the bottom bar. You've got what they're calling a bordering, which is kind of a small bar on the corner. Then there's a full view, which is basically like a welcome mat. And then finally you can customize it to look however you want it to look. If you want something other than those classic types. Then here it says define how much attention you want to grab with the various animation effects. So you know, this defines how it will come into the screen. You've got a variety of different uh, animation effects. And here are your options for buying. So you can either buy it for a single site for $19 per year, unlimited websites for $31 per year, or there are various sets where you get other Crocoblock plugins that also work with Elementor starting at $49 a year. Now, the other thing I want to mention real quick is that you can also right now for the next, next couple days, pick up Jet Pop-Up along with Jet Elements, which gives you 42 additional widgets to use within Elementor for, uh, for a special price via AppSumo. So uh, I will show you that uh, at the end of the video, but that does expire within the next couple of days. So keep that in mind if that is something that you're interested in. So now let's take a look at Jet Pop-Up a bit more in depth. So here I am on my WordPress dashboard and you can see, first of all, you have here, it says Jet Pop-Up. Now this you would use if you want to create a pop-up from scratch or if you want to edit an existing pop-up. If you want to use a template, you'll come down here and it says Jet Plugins and there's a library right there. But I want to look at this first, this is Jet Pop-Up Settings. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here's the limitation I do want to talk about. In terms of integration for a subscription form, they only have MailChimp. So if you want to use Jet Pop-Up for subscriptions, you can only integrate it with MailChimp. Now, if you have it along with Jet Engine, which is another Crocoblock plugin, you also have GetResponse, ActiveCampaign, and you'll have access to webhooks. But I do think this is a major limitation. Again, even though I do really like this plugin, you do need to be aware of this. And I do hope that they'll put some more effort into integrating this, this uh, in, integrating Jet Pop-Up with other autoresponders. I do think that, uh, you know, this is something that's important because a lot of people do not use MailChimp. So, Hopefully this is something that they will work on in the near future. Uh, but at least for now, you are limited to MailChimp. So uh, let's come over here to the library. Wait for this to load up. And you can see they've got 11 different pages of templates. It looks like six per page. So you're looking about 60 to 70 different, uh, different templates. And you can filter these by the type. So if you want contact us, you can click on that. You see you get five different options for contact us. If you want cookie policy, you click on that. Uh, and you've got five for that. Come over here to GDPR, click on that one. 
Uh, this actually has a second page, so it's got more than six. Now I tend to use subscribe form, so let's go ahead and look at that. Click on that, and it goes uh, at least three different pages worth of subscribe plugins. They also show here how often a particular plugin has been installed, or a, a particular template has been installed, so you can see which ones are more popular. Uh, this one here seems to be pretty popular, so let's go ahead and take a look at that and work with that. So click on install. Yes, I really do want to create a new pop-up, so let's go ahead and click on that. And as this is loading up, you know, I'll just tell you, because this is integrated with Elementor, whatever widgets you have available in Elementor to design your pages, you can also use to design these pop-ups within Jet Pop-Up. It doesn't, they don't have to be crock block widgets. It's any sort of widget. It can be an, a free Elementor widget, it could be a pro Elementor widget, or it could be some other add-on that you've bought that works with Elementor. Those will all work within your, um, within your pop-up. Now, I'm not gonna really get into the design of the pop-up because again, this is like anything else in Elementor and assuming you're already familiar with Elementor, this will look very familiar. So, you know, you can click on edit column and you know, you've got the layout style advanced just like you would with anything else in Elementor. Uh, you can click up there, uh, that's editing the spacer here. Um, you know, so again, you can edit the individual elements, click on that, you know, edit the headline, etc. So this is, again, this is like anything else within Elementor. What I do want to show you first, though, here is are the settings. So I think that's obviously much more important. So here you can give it a title. You can change the status of it. Here you have settings. So here you can change the animation for when it comes into the screen. And you can pre preview them and choose the one that you like the best. Now here is for how it will enter the page. What will trigger the pop-up uh, appearing for somebody? You can do it on page load, in activity time, page, uh, page scroll percent, exit, on date, or a custom selector click. So if you wanna have it uh, triggered by somebody clicking on a button or a link or a photo, you would use this one here, the custom selector click. So you've got those. Here you can choose how often you wanna show it. Uh, and then you can also choose when you want to repeat. So this here, they don't, you can't input your own option. You've gotta choose one of the ones they already have. They have anywhere from one minute to a month. So those are the options for, uh, for repeating the plugin. Here you've got your display conditions. So you can click on that and you can add different conditions. So you've got both include and exclude. So let's just say I wanna include this on one particular page. So I say include, I come over here, say singular, and I come down here to page, and then I'm gonna put this, put it here on the sample page, and that'll be it, it was, it's that simple. And you can, you know, if you wanna add additional conditions, let's say I wanna include it on the entire site, let's get rid of this, but I wanna exclude it on a particular, or exclude it, let's say on my uh, blog post. So I would have to choose here the post types, and it will just, Pick posts, I'll give it all posts. So there I've got it on, on the entire site, so I'll put it on all, on all my pages, but it'll exclude it from my posts. So that's basically how you do conditions. It's very easy, it's very intuitive. Uh, and again, you can mix and match these includes and excludes to, to show the pop-ups exactly where you wanna show them. Let's close that. Now here you've got styles, so you can set a Z index. Uh, here you can change the pop-up containers, you can change, for example, the width, you wanna make it wider or narrower. Um, you can change the position, depending on where you want to come into the screen, you can change the, uh, you won't see that very much, the vertical position because it's so tall, uh, it's not gonna show much, but you can see it there a little bit, you can change the vertical. Uh, here you can change the content position within the frame, so you can change all that. Uh, what else do they have here? Uh, the background, you can change it there. Container overlay. Uh, paddings, margins, borders. And then here you can edit the close button. This, hopefully you can see that up there in the corner. You can change that. And then you can also set up a pop-up overlay if that's something you want to do right there. So those are the options uh, for styling in terms of the, uh, you know, in terms of making it look the way you want it to look. Uh, you know, and, and place it where you want it to place it. Uh, and so that is basically how you, you use this is, you know, again, it's, it's pretty easy to use. It's pretty 
intuitive. Uh, it's not something you know that anybody should really struggle with, particularly if you're already familiar with with um, Elementor. And again, you do have options here for for some of these for desktop, tablet, and mobile for setting different. You know, for example, here different widths, different. Uh, you know, if you want to have the position different on uh, different uh, size layouts, size, you know, size, uh, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Desktop, mobile, tablet, uh, you know, you can do that, et cetera. So you do have options also for doing for mobile there for uh, some of those settings. So uh, let me just actually bring this back over here to the center. There we go. Uh, the other thing I want to show you real quick is, again, what can you do? You know, particularly if you're using this for a form, for a subscribe form, what can you do with that? So um, again, you do have some options here for adding additional items here. It's giving email address, first name, last name. You can add some items here. Um, oops. So you've got first name, last name, address, and phone number are the ones that you can add if you want to add additional uh, items here to the, to the form that somebody submits. Um, and then you, know, you can change it from block to inline if you want to do that. And here you can also you can redirect it. So you know when somebody submits, do you want to redirect it to a to a particular URL? You can do that. And then here is connecting it. You know if you've got Mailchimp set up already, you can connect it there to Mailchimp. So the next thing I want to do is show you how to create a pop up from scratch. So as I showed you already, you come over here where it says Jet Pop Up, and then click on Add New Pop Up. Wait for that to load, and you give it a name. We'll just call this front page pop-up and I'll just save it as a draft for right now and come down here and click on edit with Elementor. We'll wait a couple seconds here for this to load up. Need a little Jeopardy music here in the background as this loads and there you go. So now you have this little blank template here and you can start once this loads you know you can drag and drop whatever you want up here uh, over here. You know, and if you want more than more than one uh, column, you can add an intersection to get additional columns. And of course, you've got the settings here that I already showed you. These jet pop-up settings for, uh, you know, changing the size, changing you know where it displays, etc. Uh, but you know, this way you can you know you don't have to use one of those templates that, are, that they already have created. You can create your own and then add any widget from Elementor or, or you know any Elementor add-on that you have into your pop-up. And that way, you know, you just start from scratch and create your own. So uh, that is it. That is my review of Jet Pop-Up. I think in general, this is a very good uh, plugin for creating pop-ups for Elementor. Again, for me, the big disadvantage is that it only integrates directly with MailChimp. I hope that that is something that they'll work on in the very near future because I think that would add a lot of value to this. I think the, you know, the fact that it only has MailChimp integration is a bit of a is a definite drawback, right? I mean, there are people who use Mailchimp, but obviously a lot of people use other programs. There are a lot of different autoresponders out there. Um, so if you already have, for example, the uh, if you already have Elementor Pro and have access to Elementor's pop-up builder, I think in general you probably won't have a use for this. Uh, but if you only have Elementor free, then this is a plugin that you might want to take a look at, particularly with the AppSumo special deal that I'm going to show you right now. So as I'm recording this video, you can see you've got basically two days and 20 hours left in order to buy this special deal from AppSumo. Now, the special deal includes Jet Pop-Up along with Jet Elements, which gives you 42 additional widgets to use to design your pages, your pop-ups, your posts, etc. Um, so uh, the, the discount is actually quite substantial. It's a one-time lifetime buy. So as I scroll down here, so for a one-time purchase of $29, you can use both Jet Pop-Up and Jet Elements on five websites. And that does include lifetime updates as well. Uh, and then if you buy a double purchase for $58, you can use all of that on unlimited websites. So again, that is a special deal they're running right now, that, but it does run out very soon. So if it's something that you're interested in, uh, you should definitely take a look at it right now. Um, so that is my kind of demo overview review of of uh, Jet Pop-Up. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm always willing to help out as best as I can. Um, also make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing re uh, demos of a lot of different products from uh, Crocoblock. They've got, you know, not just the Jet Elements and the Jet Pop-Up. 
They've got a, they have 18 different uh, plugins that you can use along with Elementor. So I'm going to be reviewing a lot of different, uh, different plugins from them. But I'm also going to be doing a lot of other tools to help you build and grow your online business. Finally, I will put my affiliate link both for this AppSumo deal as well as for CrackleBlock in general in the description below. If you found value in my review, in my demo of Jet Popup, I do appreciate it if you buy via my affiliate link. It gives me a little bit of money. It allows me to continue to make 100% free content. So that is it. Uh, I hope you found value in this video and I hope you have a wonderful day and hope to see you on the next video. Bye.